Hi guys, welcome to today's reading. Um, the theme for today is basically just a warm and cozy reading, um, just to kind of lift your spirits, lift your mood, um, maybe something you just need to hear today um, that will be um, comforting um, in one way or another, um, hence the candles. I know you guys can't smell them, <laughs> but if you believe me, they smell really good. Um, so you can grab a um, warm cup of coffee, hot chocolate, your favorite drink, tea, anything, um, or just some water <laughs> if that's all you want. Um, and you can take this time to just relax and listen and um, share whatever um, you feel like comes up for you in the comments if you feel like you'd like to do that as well. Um, so we have three piles today, uh, pile one, pile two, and pile three. Um, so you can go ahead and pause the video here, take as long as you need to, to pick which pile is for you. And then if you check the timestamp below, um, there will be a clickable link to whichever pile you chose. Um, so I'll see you in your pile and, um, thanks for being here today. Hi, pile one. Welcome to the reading today. Um, today's theme is just a warm and cozy reading. Um, so you guys can get cuddled up or comfortable wherever you are today. Um, and we'll just cover some things that will help to lift your spirits um, or give you some comfort um, with whatever this message is for you guys. Um, so we are starting off with Oracle cards. Um, we'll uh, talk about whatever is here and then um, continue on as uh, needed. So let's get started. Okay, so the first card you have here is gratitude. It says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. We also have enough and natural. And underneath the deck here, we have authentic. So I feel like... Um, your cards are hinting at um, sort of the way in which you um, mentally um, see or experience life, the world. Um, it feels very authentic <laughs> in the sense of like there's a lot of appreciation for um, just natural life in general. Maybe you guys are very much so like animal lovers, like maybe you really like to watch um, like documentaries or docu-series about nature um, there's just something here about, um, liking to be, um, close to things that are, um, warm and cozy in the sense of like, um, I guess an example could be like a fireplace or, um, out in nature doing walks, or maybe some of you like enjoy the cold and it's really like relaxing for you and calming. Um, there's just something about, um, gratitude of like the presence of just like being out um with um being out with things that are um I guess maybe I could describe it as like grounding um but like grounding and relaxing because it has something to do with um nature um this card enough relates to the fact that I think for a lot of you, um, you may not feel like it takes, it takes much to, um, give this feeling. So maybe just like lighting one or two candles, um, is enough for you to kind of feel like you can let your guard down and, um, unwind and be yourself. Um, Maybe it's as simple as um, cooking a warm meal at home, something that you feel like is really um, healthy for you and nurturing to your body. Um, maybe it's like small rituals that you like to do, like, um, you know, using scented diffusers or um, taking warm baths with scents in them. Um, just something that's like really light and short um, that is enough for you. Like, I think this card is really talking about it being simplistic. Like, I feel like that is kind of what the word enough is kind of like hinting to. Um, it's not very like grand. It's not like a lot of things. It's like, um, one thing that, um, or like several of 
um, several small singular things um, or just something that you see as simplistic um, that gives you sort of like that that joy. Um, so yeah, so let's get a um, a final like um, clarifying card to finish off this reading. So the card you guys got was flexible. So we're going to read this one straight out of the book. So flexible says teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's important. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. I feel like um, automatically, like I kind of get the sense that you guys are very like, um, I have this like quality or trait about you where um, things that may really like rock other people to the core, um, you have a way of um, being able to manage it like emotionally, mentally, um, and for many of you, this may have come by, you know, practice of experience of having to find ways to kind of cope with, um, things that can be anxiety written, like, for example, like, um, test or, um, big exams, um, job interviews, just whatever it is that for many would be like very anxiety written. I think there's something here about, um, for you having like this quality where you're able to cope with that in some way um, related to some of these practices that you um, incorporate um, that are very like nature related, um, very like um, relaxing for you. This is how you need to be now. Willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. And let's see if there's anything more. Um, even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what it will look like, who you will share it in, or sorry, who will share in it, and what will then be available to you, you still need to relax and open up to other possibilities. So maybe for some of you, this reading is um, more related to an energy that you would like to have. So um, maybe this is the energy that you're moving towards, um, a state of being that you're going towards. Um, and maybe this is just an opportunity for some of you to kind of think like, um, what are some of those things that are relaxing for me, um, that are very simple, um, very related to, um, you know, this here, um, and maybe this being something that you could possibly incorporate to help you out a bit if you're um, finding that it's been difficult to manage certain emotions or to unwind or disconnect from work or, you know, the stresses of family or relationships or things like that. Spirit may have much better plans for you. It could be a job you hadn't thought of, a new source of money or some other opportunity that eluded your imagination. Be flexible and remind yourself this or something better manifests for me now. Then be willing to bend a little, enjoy the miraculous results. So yeah, so you guys, this is um, a very short reading it was, um, but I do hope that you found it um, confirming um, of some of the things that you're experiencing or some of the things that you may be considering. Um, if you did find it relatable, please feel free to leave a, um, a message in the comment section. I'll definitely read it. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, whenever you come across this video, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye, Pile 1. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. Um, today is going to be a cozy reading to um, just uplift your spirits a little bit, um, help you to um, relax a little bit, I guess. Maybe that's not the best um, <laughs> phrasing, but maybe just to like unwind a little bit. Um, and just uh, grab a nice cup of um, tea or coffee, something warm or something cold if you prefer, um, and just to um, unwind a little bit. So let's get started. Um, we have some Oracle cards that we'll start with, um, and then we will go from there. So let's see what we have here. So we have um, strong, fear, 
Jezalik. And then we also have um, Higher Power in Reverse and um, Alone in the World. And we will read um, this one from the book and we'll also read this one from the book here, okay? I definitely get the sense that um, these two cards here are going to be talking about, um, it's like uh, advice cards. Um, so um, you can kind of choose from these things or um, use them as a way to like brainstorm things that would be helpful for you to kind of address um, what it's going to bring up for you. Um, these cards are kind of talking about um, the underlying issue, okay? Um, so I feel like um, this is talking about um, needing to use um, things, activities, um, uh, new habits or current habits that are um, very relaxing, um, cozy for you. This card, Giselleg, um, it's a word um, that roughly um, can translate to um, something that is cozy. Um, so for example, this could be something that is um, going to a coffee shop that has an ambiance that feels cozy, warm, relaxing to you. Um, this could be something like uh, sitting by a, a campfire or a fireplace um, or like watching, like I like to pull up um, YouTube videos. Um, I'll type like fireplace 4k and they'll have like live videos of um, a fireplace going and I'll pull out a book and that feeling is Giselic. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> it is cozy for me. It embodies the essence of this. What would not be considered underneath this are things like, for example, having to go to a doctor's office. We would not think of that as like cozy, warm, relaxing. Tax day, not cozy, not warm, not fun, not relaxing. Um, so I feel like it's talking about um, finding things that give you that feeling um, in order to help you to unwind, in order to help you address whatever it is that this reading is um, going to be talking about as a struggle of yours. Um, so we will, again, we'll read this one to give you like more specific guidance. Um, but I want to talk about these cards here. Um, I feel like um, there's a feeling here of like, needing to be strong, um, needing to kind of, um, it feels like I want to say, um, ignoring the struggle that you're feeling. That's, that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like, um, if I don't acknowledge what's bothering me, it won't be bothering me. Um, but in the same token, it's, the the thought process is not necessarily translating so maybe you're thinking if i don't mentally acknowledge this thing it'll go away but instead it doesn't go away it actually um bothers you more or it's like underneath the surface and building um and you're needing to find ways of kind of like releasing that um I think too, for some people in this group, um, there is a need to um, not have to face things alone. Um, maybe you do have a, you know, a support group, um, but you don't necessarily know how to broach the topic for some things. Uh, maybe you feel like um, there's like nervousness about discussing certain things. Um, for some, I think this could be, for example, like say that, um, you know, someone's a teenager and they want to talk about um, sexuality or um, sexual activity because it's bringing them a lot of like angst or anxiety because they don't know anything about it, but they want to participate in certain things or they have a partner and they really want to be close to them. Um, they don't know how to kind of like bring this up with their partner that could bring like a lot of fear to them. I don't know why this coming up that maybe just for one person. Um, but yeah, um, there's definitely something here of like, um, needing to, to, to not do something alone. Um, so let's, let's read this one out of the book really quickly. Okay. So alone in the world, the stage is acceptance in solitude. I stand in solitude. I may shine under the morning light in a closed and silent court. 
paved with stones laced by trees. A beautiful woman sits naked on a precious bench. Many blankets or drapes are around her in color red and white like discarded, like discarded wings. Sorry. I made my home a cloister, my heart a chalice for the faintest breeze, and yet I stand alone. Waiting for something to come back, when we parted ways, we promised to each other, I will wait for you and I will come back. We may have used different words like, it's just for a few months, or a sharp repent like, I don't need you. Still, we are waiting. Mind has lost hope, body has lost memory, but our heart is still incomplete. I want to say before I finish this one, this feels, this gives me the energy of like when someone asks you, how are you doing? And instead of us saying like, um, how we're doing, we say, I'm okay. I'm fine. I don't need anything. We put a smile on our face. I feel like it's, it's talking about that struggle of like needing to, um, find the words or, um, um, find a way to feel comfortable to, or not even just finding a way, but finding the people that you feel comfortable with honestly answering that question. Like, um, maybe if someone is to ask you like, Hey, how are you doing? And you feel like you can trust that person saying like, Hey, you know, do you, do you have time to talk right now? Or, um, you know, do you have the space for me to like really answer this question? You know, um, sometimes I'll like, I'll call my mom or like FaceTime my mom when I'm having a hard time. And I'll say to her, you know, like, you know, I know you got a lot going on right now. Um, is it okay if I kind of like talk about something that's bothering me? I just kind of need to get it off of my chest. And that way it gives her an opportunity to tell me like, you know, um, right now it's not really a good time. I really do want to like be support. And then I can, you know, maybe if like venting would be too much for her, like emotionally, um, I can get a hug <laughs> or I could like spend some time with her. We can just cook a meal together. Um, but it kind of gives you the opportunity to figure out, um, what, what you're needing. I think for some of you guys, you're just needing to kind of like, um, contemplate on what are you needing and then, um, finding ways to kind of like communicate that to the people, um, in your life, to the people in your circle. That way you can get that need met because I think a lot of you are, um, living, um, living kind of that phrase of like, just got to be strong. Um, but really you're, um, really needing support. Like it's okay to be a, um, a strong person, but strong doesn't mean that you don't need support. Sometimes it doesn't mean that you don't need help. Sometimes it doesn't mean that you don't need to cry. Sometimes it doesn't mean you don't need to, um, allow yourself that breakdown, like, you know, that one where it's like, I'm fucking burnt out. I'm tired. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling, I've been feeling anxious, like whatever those emotions are for you guys. Like you can be a strong, independent, hardworking, you know, person and still allow yourself to experience the full breadth of emotions that come with life that comes with the experiences that we have. Um, and two, like, I know oftentimes there are a lot of people in our lives, um, in the world who have this belief that like experience and emotions crying means that you can't handle life or we don't have control of our emotions. Um, I can say from the, um, I'll say like from, like I'm currently studying to be a social worker. Um, and I have like goals and aspirations to be a peer support specialist where, you know, you can kind of like share lived experiences with people who are struggling with things that you've also struggled with at one point in time. Um, you are allowed to, um, you're allowed to be dealing with whatever you're dealing with. Um, I kind of lost, sorry, <laughs> track of like what, um, what it was I, I wanted to mention and sharing that, but, um, there's something about like the importance of knowing that, 
Um, just because people in, ah, yes, that's what I wanted to say. Um, just because people have this belief that like strong looks a certain way, um, you can pave that path to say like, I, I'm still strong. Like I'm dealing with some shit right now. I'm feeling this right now. This is really hard for me right now. And I'm allowed to cry about it. I'm allowed to be angry about it. It, makes sense this would make me afraid it makes sense that this would make me anxious like these are emotions I'm a human humans experience emotions this is my experience period point blank it is what it is for those people who make you feel otherwise um maybe this is just confirmation that like no you're not crazy you you're a human like you know sometimes it gets really hard. Like we have these really hard emotions. We feel like we need to be strong, but sometimes we really just need to find an outlet and decompress, let it out. Like maybe you need to scream into a pillow. Maybe, I don't know if you live like somewhere in, um, like areas more desolate. I remember, um, um, something, a story that'll kind of like relate to this. Um, I was seeking treatment at one time. Um, I have um, uh, mental health diagnoses. And so I was at a really low point in my life where I had to seek um, treatment at an inpatient residential um, facility. And so I met this one person and um, she and I kind of like hit it off. And um, we were dealing with like, really difficult emotions that we felt like we couldn't, um, we couldn't let go of. It was kind of like we needed a release. And so, um, you know, part of our conditions were really struggling with trying to find healthy ways of coping, healthy ways of getting that release. So one day we were like, you know what? Fuck it. We're about to go out in the woods. I'm grabbing a rock and I'm throwing rocks at rocks. Like, (laughs) And people probably thought that we were like batshit crazy, but like, that's the kind of energy I feel like you guys are needing. Like you need an outlet, no matter like what it is, as long as I feel like I'm coping in a way that's healthy, I need that outlet. So if you need to do some shit, like throw rocks at rocks in the forest, yell out into the trees where no one can hear you, like cry your lungs out. This is the vibe (laughs) that I'm getting. And maybe for some of you, it's not, (laughs) you know, to that extreme. Maybe you really just need like a warm cup of coffee and a blanket to just kind of like cuddle up on the couch. Maybe you need a TV show where you are, you know, laughing and crying with the characters, whatever that is. Um, For some of you, this may be tapping into, you know, a higher power. Um, For some of us, spirituality Um, For some of us, religion is the thing that can really help us to um, decompress a little bit, feel like we're not being strong by ourselves, not doing it alone, not being alone in the world. Um, That's why this higher power card is. So whatever relates to you, you know, there's different groups of people here, even within this one group. Um, For some of you, it's I need to go to mosque. I need to go to church. I need to, you know, hang out with my people. Um, for some of us, it's, I need that book on the couch with the covers. For some of us, I need a hard cry. I need to yell into my pillow. I need to throw a rock at a rock, whatever it is. You don't have to keep feeling like I need to be strong. I need to do this alone. You don't have to do it alone. Even if it's just like, you know, the time that you got to spend here, Um, you know, leaving a comment and saying like, I'm really struggling with this shit and I need to get it off my chest and write it down somewhere where no one knows me, you know, feel free. I will read that comment. I will see it. Um, so yeah. Um, so let's finish the rest of this alone in the world. Um, so it is strived into a blessed feeling of longing and desire, innocence and hope, but it is also entombed into a well of solitude and distance. Yeah, definitely like stepping away from feeling like you need to be in solitude and distance and stepping into where can I get support? Like, even if this is like, um, going out of your way to see, um, are there support groups for what I'm struggling with? Like, 
for example, if you're struggling with nicotine addiction, can I go to Nicotine Anonymous? Can I join a, a quit program in my area? Um, something so I'm not doing this by myself. It built walls to stall the passage of time and the walls kept out everything. Will the prince come or has the world gone silent while we waited? Waiting is a transition. It has a beginning and it has an end. Waiting is the night. Morning brings the sun of a new day. So again, stepping out and um, not allowing those walls to kind of come up and, and cut you off from people who um, can really help you in this time. I know oftentimes people will say what they needed the most when they were really struggling was um, company. They needed a company. They needed conversation. They needed presence of someone else. They needed to just not be by themselves to feel like no one cared just to know that there are other people here with me or other people here who have um, either um, empathy for what I'm dealing with, like they understand that struggle or they are a support. They genuinely care about me um, and can lend an ear. Um, so let's finish up with this card here. Um, the meaning of higher power in reverse. So that is card four. Okay, so higher power, the essential meaning says conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. And so we're going to um, read the reverse, the protection, the protection message. Now is the time to examine what you are giving energy and attention to in the back of your mind. If you're, if you're obsessing about being right, about old resentments or failed expectations, about money or about any other people, places or things, these will be the source from which you create. But you want spirit to be your source. Take heart for your higher power will never desert you and is always waiting for you to remember that secret partnership you share. Turn away from other sources of power that don't serve your highest good. There is no greater source than spirit. You can always surrender your troubles and trust that they will be taken care of. You are in good hands. So for, you know, whomever that message is for, um, if it resonates with you, um, you can take that message. If not, I hope that um, what we talked about previous to, to that one um, is confirmation of what you've been experiencing. Um, it's hard to go at things alone. It, it adds an extra level of difficulty, an extra level of um, loneliness, um, and, and just kind of like feeling shut off um, in, in a way. Um, I think for you guys, it's, it's, there's definitely a need for like support and community. Um, so it, if, you, if you find that, again, like finding groups for struggles, like um, there's a lot of groups for a lot of stuff, you know, nicotine, um, nicotine anonymous, we have, um, narcotics anonymous, um, you know, there's groups for people who have, um, grief support or, um, you know, people who have lost family members due to certain specific circumstances. They have groups for that. There's a lot of groups out there. Um, some of them you can go to in person. Some of them, um, are like zoom video calls. Some of them are just, um, phone calls that you do in like a group setting. Um, so yeah, and, and if you're not sure where to find these resources, please feel free to leave a comment. I would be more than happy to, to help you and assist you in finding a resource that you think would be helpful. Um, that way you kind of have um, somewhere to start, somewhere to kind of look at. Um, or if you just need some help brainstorming, it's not a trouble. Um, please feel free to reach out. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys found this reading helpful. I really appreciate you allowing me to talk about this. Um, to um, share, share whatever came up. Um, and I hope that you found some comfort, even though I feel like this topic was um, one that does talk about something that can be difficult. I hope that you found some comfort in knowing that um, there is at least one person <laughs> talking about myself. There is at least one person who, um, who sees that um, you're struggling, who sees that there are some things that are going on um, and I hope that you're able to find people in your um, everyday life um, in person um, or over the phone that can um, be that for you as well. Um, so I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Pile 2, for being here. 
And I will see you in the next reading. Bye, guys. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading today. Um, Today, we're just going to be talking about um, whatever comes up for you guys. But um, I want this to really feel like a warm and cozy reading, hence the candles. If you guys want to get a warm cup of coffee, of tea, your favorite drink, or if you prefer something cold or just some water, whatever that is for you guys. Um, so yeah, we have quite a few Oracle cards here. Um, we also have, um, some extra cards, um, on the side here that we will go through, um, as we continue. Um, but let's start with, um, these ones here. So the first card you have is, um, Curious and we have Shadow. So I want to start with these two outlying cards. Um, so what this makes me initially feel like is um, introspection, like, um, how have you, the question I would, um, kind of feel like this would ask is how have you been feeling? Um, what's been bugging you lately? What's been kind of like under your skin lately? Um, what, um, what emotions have been coming up for you lately? Um, I know sometimes it can be difficult to kind of put, um, words to that. Um, something I found helpful that you may also find helpful. Um, and I'll leave it in the description is, uh, an emotions wheel. Like sometimes I kind of need to like put a word to a feeling and I don't necessarily like know what that word is. Um, so I will put that in the description for you guys, pile three. Um, that way you can refer to that if that's something that would be helpful. Um, But I feel like this is like, um, gonna be talking a little bit about, um, digging into, to what's been coming up for you. Um, we have seek exactly like (laughs) this is talking about literally, um, purposefully figuring out how you're feeling. I think for some of you guys, um, however you're feeling is affecting you in a way that maybe isn't necessarily apparent. Like, so for example, maybe you have like a lot of like physical pains, like maybe you've been having like neck tightness, um, back tightness, shoulder tightness, and you don't know why. Um, but if you were to like sit down and, uh, maybe for example, if I was to like be experiencing those physical symptoms and I sat down, I'd be like, you know what, damn, I've been like really anxious lately. Or like, I've been feeling really burnt out lately, or I've been feeling really sad lately, whatever that emotion is for you, maybe just seeing like the words on that emotion wheel will be like, yo, I've been feeling that. And it'll put it into words, but there's a need to like seek out, oh, like seeking out a word to put to the feeling you've been having. Cause I feel like you don't have a word for it. But there may be a word and being able to put it into context could be of help to you guys. Manifest. Yep. Like whatever this is, um, whatever is like bothering you, it's, it's manifesting physically. It's manifesting outwardly and it, it, it may not feel obviously connected, but it is connected in, in, in a way enough. I feel like, um, the enough card kind of gives me a feeling of like, you're fed up with whatever, whatever experience you're having with this. Like it's, it's really taken a toll on you and you're kind of like at this breaking point where like something needs to give. Um, I think for some of you, um, you, you're, you're struggling maybe to get a release because you don't necessarily know what it is you're trying to release. So again, um, kind of like being able to do some introspective work to figure out what it is that you're needing a release from, and then having somewhere that you can go from, you can go from there. Like, all right, I know I'm feeling anxious and now I can be like, how do I alleviate this anxiety? How do I alleviate this angst for me? Um, and so it doesn't have to be anxiety. It can be something else, but, um, this is kind of what it's talking about. So, um, we have, um, a few more Oracle cards. Um, I'll put them here. So we have voice. I'll put this one here and we also have warmth. 
Um, not for everyone, but for some people, this makes me think of like, um, relaxing music, like warm jazz music, um, like fireplace crackling, um, candles with like a wood fire, um, like a wood stick or like a wood wick. That's what I mean to say, a wood wick. Um, you have this card here. It says happiness and we'll read it. Um, happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So maybe for some just needing to like recognize that like, um, just because I'm like experiencing emotions that are unpleasant doesn't mean that, um, you know, I'm doing something wrong. Like, um, there's kind of like a, an acknowledgement of like, I'm a human having a human experience and, and a part of that is dealing with unpleasant emotions at time and um, just trying to figure out like, like what do I do in that situation? This card um, is bright in a cage. It looks creepy as hell, um, but let's see like what the message is for this card in particular. Um, and I'm laughing because I said it looks creepy as hell. I mean, technically it really does, but... Um, all right, let's see. So it is 21. Okay. So the stage is denial. Tomorrow will be the right moment. Tomorrow will be better, even if today is hell. A gorgeous white wedding, wedding dress shines through the neon gray artificial light of the evening. It is worn, excuse me, sorry. It is worn by a mannequin with a dissociated skeleton head. It seems like a happy place, if not for the light. The mannequin stares at the outside while a, while a purple laser grid cage holds it in. Sentence, did we die waiting for the perfect day or were we never alive? I'll say this feels, um, this like reminds me of um, like a feeling that I'll be happy when things are perfect when I don't experience unpleasant emotions anymore. And I think this reading is coming in to say that um, maybe a different perspective may be needed here. Um, that if we're um, seeking out a like life experience where we don't ever experience unpleasant emotions, that we're going to have a hard time because um, experiencing the full spectrum of emotions is the normal and so like kind of going out of our way to um, not have that full experience can kind of wreak havoc on us. Um, I know I mentioned the um, wheel of emotions, I believe to this pile, I talk so much, I already forget what it is I already mentioned. Um, but there are um, other resources that you may, may or may not find helpful that I can also leave linked in the description. Um, one of them is a book called The Happiness Trap. Um, and also another one that I can't necessarily remember the title to now. Um, but both of these books kind of bring up um, the uh, the idea basically of like trying to um, be able to better um, manage experiencing unpleasant emotions. Um, it talks about um, coping with those unpleasant emotions, uh, making it to be like more... Um, more of a, a, a normal experience for us to develop the full spectrum. Like I think for a lot of us, we really struggle with experiencing um, unpleasant emotions. Um, and then um, for some, when we block out, like we find a way to dissociate from the unpleasant emotions, we end up dissociating from all of the emotions, if that makes sense. So like, not only are we like numb to the sadness, numb to the anxiety, we're also numb to like the joy and the excitement. And so we find life to become like very dull. And we're like, I'm, I don't even feel like I'm, I'm living over here. Like I'm not enjoying anything. And so part of that may be like needing to go through this process of um, needing to go through this process of um, starting to um, get get some some comfortability in experiencing things that are uncomfortable. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, so yes, yeah, like warmth, um, voice. I think again, like this this for me is just kind of like talking about like. Um, 
being able to put a word to, to emotions. Um, for some of you, this may be looking like, um, finally, um, being able to do like introspective work where you're more emotionally aware and like through that emotional awareness, again, like it, it leading to, um, being able to sit more in these, um, uncomfortable emotions. Um, Let's finish up this reading here. Um, when when we look at it, it shines like a brand new day in a commercial. Um, oh, let's see here. Um, I'm going to start from the top. That way I don't um, miss anything. So when we put the good of our life just in our expectations, we can, de- we can dismiss the present. Waiting for the dawn we know will arrive. The future becomes a shopping cart. I need a bit of this, a bit of that, a few kilograms of that, and also a couple of boxes of another this. When we look at it, it shines like a brand new day in a commercial. And as it happens with commercials, when the future comes, is not exactly perfect. The smile is forced. The day is too hot or too cold. The kiss is dry. The lion limps softly and doesn't roar. As long as something is not here, but is pushed further along the timeline, we have the luxury to take it off of reality and treat it as a fantasy. We push forward and we push forward until we actually catch up with our dream and then we crush. The future should not feel like a cage, not even a gilded, wonderful, handmade designer cage. The future is a tree, gnarled, tough to the touch, full of flowers only in spring, dense and damp through the rain, absolutely imperfect. So I feel like this is really talking about um, needing to, in, in one way or another, needing life to kind of like be shitty sometimes. Like I feel like that's what this is like referring to, especially this card. Like sometimes we just need to like, um, need to like, let ourselves be honest with the fact that like some shit just sucks. Like it fucking sucks. Like my pet died. I'm fucking sad. I'm depressed. I'm not feeling good about this. Like there's just something about that. Like no matter what you do, like happiness is somewhere, um, on your path, but it may be harder to feel it because we're not allowing ourselves to feel in general and not on purpose. Like, it becomes accidental because we've shut off like one side of the spectrum, but really like in order to shut off that side, we had to shut off everything. So I I think, again, this is really just talking about like, um, opening up to finding ways to get comfortable with the uncomfortable so that we're not stuck in this cage in life where we feel like, um, we don't get to experience warmth where we don't get to, um, experience, you know, being able to say like, damn, this feels really good. Like we don't get to voice, um, our pleasure in the world because we can't feel it because we've shut off, um, unconsciously, subconsciously, not purposefully in a, in a way to protect ourselves. Like I even remember reading one time, um, it was talking about like when our emotions get so overwhelming sometimes, like say our anxiety is just like too overwhelming, our vagus nerve can kick in and it'll numb us so that we're, we don't have to, um, experience what it is that we're experiencing, but it numbs us to everything, right? Like, so the things that we used to enjoy, maybe we don't enjoy anymore. Maybe for some of us, this is, um, you know, like mental health related. And so, um, you know, that's a whole different ball game. Um, you know, um, but yeah, like just a theme here, um, related to, to what we spoke about. Um, so yeah, so I know we talked about a lot. <laughs> I hope that you at least found this reading this confirmation of what you've already been experiencing. If you feel comfortable to share what that is, you can leave that in the comments. I'll definitely read it. Um, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for allowing me to, to speak on this and, and to kind of hold this space with you today. I hope that you did find it helpful. 
Um, and I will make sure to, in the comments to leave the emotion wheel as well as the title to both of those books, just in case you find it helpful for yourself or it, it triggers um, a search into something else that, that will be helpful. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye, Pile 3.